Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ginny, I'm a digital marketing and Instagram expert and I help small businesses to be more visible and make more sales online. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Photoshop. So I already made two videos. If you haven't watched them yet, go watch them. They are linked below. So in this video, we're going to talk about Photoshop. Like I said, it's dedicated to content creators and small business owners who want to create social media posts that pop, that stand out, but have no idea how. They don't want to have the creativity killed by Canva. So with Photoshop, you can do so many different things. So I really want to show you how you can do this. So again, if you haven't watched the previous video, go watch them now. If you have, then let's dive in because this video is going to go into more details. We're going to start looking at removing backgrounds, importing images and having a bit more fun with your social media posts. So let's dive in right now. Okay. So uh, remember, we know how to open a new file on Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new file. For Instagram is 1080 by 1350. I don't know if you remember that. And actually, uh, just so you know, if you want to create some sort of a carousel for Instagram, all you have to do on Photoshop is clicking on artboard here. So if I click here, it's going to open several um, artboards and you'll be able to do like some sort of carousel. But that's for another day. Uh, right now, we're going to focus on a single document. So remember, or I'm touching, you know, the width, eighth, and then maybe as well, you know, if I want a background color, white, black, transparent, custom, etc. So for now, we can choose background color and I'm happy with that. So here we are. We know how to create text. So if I want to say how to use Photoshop, for example, I like this font. It's a really cool font. Uh, and voila. So now it's a little bit of a boring one and let's say we want to try to bring some more fun to it and try to bring some icons or trying to bring some images or anything like it how do we do it so i'm going to show you that today what i usually do is simply go on um any like on the google page and say let's say i want some arrows i just write arrow and then i go into images and then google images got a lot of different choices and you might not like them all, so you just pick the one that you think you like. It's going to give you some other choices as well. Hand drawn, vector. Vector are usually quite good because they're usually already PNG. And remember, PNG means that they have no backgrounds. Let's say, you know, I really like, I don't know, maybe those arrows are quite fun. Or even like these ones, but I like these ones first. So when you click on it, you're going to see, okay, these ones are really tiny. So they have 286 times 200. That's just too small for a document. You want at least like a 400 times 400. Um, so I'm going to try to click. It's going to give you some similar one here. So let's say I really like these ones. This one is 1,400 pixels. So I'm happy with that. So all I have to do is click right click and put save image as and then you just want to save it on your desktop. Once it's ready, you can actually show it. And then all you have to do is like literally slide it and drag it into Photoshop. It's going to bring it here and then I have those arrows. So now what do I do? How do I actually bring them onto my document to make it look cool, etc.? So all you have to do is using, remember we use those toolbars on the left and what I'm going to do is using this. So you might not have it under this right away. It's a magic wand tool. So all you have to do if you don't have it is usually if you right click on it, you will see all the other selection. So maybe it doesn't appear as a magic wand tool, but it will appear, appear as a quick selection tool, etc., etc. So you have to play around a bit with those tools on the left. So mine's already selected here and the shortcut for it is W. So it's a magic wand tool and it's actually really magic. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and let's say I'm going to take, uh, for example, I don't know, maybe this one. I like this one. So I'm going to click, I'm going to zoom again and I'm going to click on the actual arrow and it's going to select it automatically. And then all I have to do is perm C, well, control C, and then go on my document. So I go back to my moving tool. Remember the moving tool is here. The shortcut for it is V. So I'm just clicking V and then palm V like paste the arrow. And that's it. Voila. So now it added as an, an extra layer on the right. Remember all the layers and then I can do whatever I want with this layer. So remember control T to be able to move that layer and make and make it bigger if I want to make it bigger. 
uh, you can make it bigger, etc. Then I'll have it, you know, these little arrows. I can, you know, just make it the way I want to. And then once you've placed it and you've done the, you know, the, the actual um, size that you want. So for example, I, I might want a smaller size like this. You can press enter. Then let's say I want another color. I don't want it black. I want it, you know, some sort of a brownish. Uh, for example, this brown. All I have to do is use the bucket tool, which is shortcut G, okay? And all I have to do, make sure that, you know, I'm clicking on the right layer and I'm going to color my arrow. As simple as that. Then I go back to my move tool V and that's it. I've got my nice, um, I've got my nice arrow and it looks okay i guess so yeah that's basically how i do pretty much everything now let's say i'm going back here and i'm like okay i want actually not this hour i want something else you want to unselect this so to unselect something you press command d or control d uh, it's going to unselect your arrow and then you can select any other arrow so remember the shortcut is w and i've got my magic one tool and i select this one okay so that's one way of doing it the other way you can do it if you have like a big background like this and sometimes you just want all these arrows and you're gonna want to be able to reuse all these arrows what you can do that is really cool it's a really cool trick is click on the background Okay, and not on the actual arrow. So I still got my magic one tool and I click on the background and it's going to select basically the background and not the arrows. But I obviously want to select the arrows and not the background. So what you want to do is go on select, then inverse. And now it's selected just the arrows and not the background. And now what I want to do is control C and then create a new file. And it's, you don't have to change anything. It's automatically going to change it to the size of what you selected or what you copy. The thing that you want to do though is changing the background for transparent background. And that's going to make the whole difference. So once it's on transparent background, you click create. And now all I have to do is pump B and I've got all my arrows. Obviously this one's got the white background on it, but that's absolutely fine. But now they're already on a transparent background and you can save this document as a PNG or as a Photoshop document and you'll be able to come back to it. So if you put save as and you save it uh, on your computer and then, and then you can save it as a Photoshop document or as a PNG. And that's going to make the whole difference. That's basically why you're gonna be able to come back to it and just pick the arrows that you run. They're already on the transparent background, so it's just much easier to select them. So then if you just wanna pick one arrow, the other thing that you can do is, again, you either change and select the magic one tool. The other thing you can do is selecting the lasso tool. So the lasso tools here, and if I say, oh, I actually want this arrow, I could simply, so you keep clicking on it, okay, you don't remove the click, and you just um, circle the arrow, okay? And then pump C, and then I go back to my document. Don't forget to save your document. That's something I keep forgetting, but like, yeah, you wanna... So now I'm here, pump V, and I've got this arrow, okay? And it's already here. And then I can just change the background like this, and I've got a nice arrow. And again, I can change it the way I want. So, okay, now that I've got this arrow, what you can do is, so make sure you selected the layer, and then you want to go edit, transform, and then flip. You can actually flip it because maybe sometimes it's not going to be uh, the, the, the way it, you want it to be. So if you want it the other way around, you can actually flip it. So it's a really cool trick. So you can flip it horizontal and I guess it's going to point the other way. And you can flip it pretty much in any way you want. So all you have to do again is edit, transform, and then you have lots of different kind of transform flip vertical, horizontal, uh, rotate, etc., etc. So rotate, obviously you can as well do it like this, you know, but you can flip it. So like this, it points uh, in the direction that you want it to point. Okay, so now let's say I want to color inside this, okay? And if I click on it, so don't forget to click on it, so it's like the right layer, and then I click on my bucket tool, and I click here, see it's not going to look great and it's like ugh. and if i click several times it's just it's messy so what can i do if i want to you know just color the inside 
The other thing that you can do is actually use the magnetic lasso tool. So it's actually where your lasso tool is. You remember your lasso tool is when you can control things. Again, you always have to stay on click. Um, so I don't want to do this, but like I can use the polygon as a magnetic lasso tool. The only thing that you want to do first, you want to create a new layer. So a layer, new layer, and we're going to call it maybe one. Uh, I never rename my layers, but you want to do it. And then now I'm actually be able, I'm, I'm actually going to be able to create uh, my lasso magnetic thing. So you want to click on it and then uh, make sure that you, you know, you click on the right layer. And then you want to, you know, contour the area you want to color. So it's just going to grab, it's like magnetic, like it says. So you don't have to stay on the click. You can actually release it. And then you want to click maybe on the corners maybe when where you want to make sure that it, it, it goes and then all you have to do is just contour it and it's just gonna magnetically <laughs> grab the the things okay and now that's it i've got my area and now i can choose a color so let's say i want to color like this and i click on my bucket tool and then i can actually have my area colored so then I can put D and I've got it colored. Obviously, you know, it's not perfect, but you can make it a little bit better. You know, you want to make sure that you know, it's contoured properly. So that's one thing. Another quite cool thing to do. So again, you want to create a layer. So layer, new layer. We're going to call it two. Okay. It's actually make it like brush tool. This brush tool here on my tools. And it's literally like coloring stuff. So... Obviously that's way too big. You can change the size at the top here. You wanna make it maybe smaller, even smaller for this design, something quite small. I'd say even like this, yeah. Then obviously you wanna pick a color, so maybe like something different. Here we go. And then all you have to do is making sure that you know you're on the right layer and you wanna color it. Okay, so again, in my not look great but i'm going to show you after what you can do so right now we're going to color it like this very roughly okay and then i quite like the brush tool it gives like a little i don't know it gives a different look here you go and now obviously it looks crap but what you can do is taking that layer and pulling it under you remember the order on the layers so you want to pull it under the arrow layer and obviously because i don't name my uh, my layers i don't know which one it is but i'm just gonna pull it at the bottom and here we go it disappeared behind so like this is just looks a little bit nicer so yeah i quite like this brush tool and you can play with it i mean it takes a bit of time but if you enjoy doing this you can do this uh, it's quite fun if you have like a a nice design that you want to do you can do this all right that's it hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe because i release weekly videos on instagram and digital marketing and how to build a sustainable and successful business online so if you enjoyed it like button subscribe and i'll see you next week